Welcome to Japan! Hello guys to the third episode of today's uh, Japan trip. So yeah, um, it snowed overnight. Let's go eat breakfast! Wow guys, look how cold and white it is. It's all white. Seriously, look at the roofs, they have icicles on them, and then look at the mountain, it's all white. We were there last night. Okay guys, so we have arrived at the marketplace. We're gonna, we're gonna eat our breakfast in this area. So um, yeah, the car park practice is full of black eyes, so you can just skate around. There is a lot, a lot of crabs. And so we, there's another octopus here in the store. Look at it, it's another octopus. The thing about this market is that it sells a lot of exotic seafood, like a lot, a lot. Like oh yeah, this type of fish you can only find in winter time, which is basically right now. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That is really, really creepy. There are so many clams and crabs over here. There are many things you can eat in Japan for breakfast. Like for instance, this is donburia, especially seafood and rice or noodles in a bowl. Very nice. The marketplace also sells stuff like biscuits and dried squid and candy, you know, and seaweed too, because this is Japan! So this is like the sort of thing where they have, it's a machine where they like basically spin spits round and round until it's like skin comes out and then they put it into a bag and yeah, you can eat it! It's really delicious! They gave us a sample just now, it's amazing! This folks is the main market area, so most of the shops are located here along the street. And if you enter one of these shops, then there's, it's like sort of like a food court, but you can see a lot of breakfast things you can eat from many, many restaurants. Literally the first time I've seen sushi in Japan. So this is an example of one of those plastic food displays. There's many here, as you can see. So it basically gives you a sort of like a vision of what your food will look like. It's not, yeah, but it's like pretty cool, I guess. You can see like what type of things is in every bowl. Like, does it have shrimp? Does it have eggs? Who knows? The most popular type of dish here is donburi bowls because we're near the ocean and there's a lot of seafood. So guys, this is the wet market. You can see there are many types of fish and more seafood here. So yeah, that's very cool. It's very lively here. You can see many people buy their groceries, um, like any ingredients for their dinner or lunch, who knows? For some odd reason, there's a big squid statue here. And yeah, it's right in the middle of this wet market. Okay guys, so over here we have some clams that we just bought fresh from this person over here. As you can see, she's grilling some seafood there and we bought some of them. So as you can see, this one sells a lot of stuff like sear, chin, sashimi, all the good stuff. Okay guys, so over here we have our um, scallop. So let's try it out. Something for one home. Scallop. Yeah, scallop. No, I've never eaten scallop before. It's odd. It's odd, right? So here it is, scallop. Seafood. Yum. 
Put them out. Mm. But that's actually really good. Huh? They cook that very well. Good, huh? Yeah. It's very, well, it's very well done. Okay. Let me try again. Try this part. What's that part? That's a side. Mm. So eating a tentacle is very like chewy and long. So this here is squid and sea urchin. Yum yum. No. Okay, so let's just try the squid. Okay, so I have some over here in my chopstick. So let's try it out. Mm. Mm. Usually the squid I, I eat is very chewy, but this one I can I can actually bite it. Mm. Fresh. It's fresh, yeah, that's true. Mm. Okay. Um So here we have um the tentacle of the squid. That is beautiful. I've never seen so many fish eggs and fish roll in my life. Oh my god, they sell them in jars too. Ooh. Okay guys, so this is the Hakodate Morning Market Square. It's among some of the most famous places in Hakodate. You can come here in the morning to buy your seafood and all the other stuff. So this here is a lot of seafood they can just put in the plastic bag and bring home. It's amazing, right? Harry crab, snow crab, many types here. So this here is a restaurant that we found and we have um, every other restaurant is full so we just came here. So yeah, let's see what type of food they have here and let's see it. So this is the menu, the name of the restaurant is Sushi Hakodate. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So the type of stuff that they have here is sushi, a lot, a lot of sushi, a lot of choices. So here we have more sushi and seafood chirashi sushi. Chirashi sushi. It's a very long name, but it's basically soup. So over here on the side we have three colors seafood bowls. So this is donburi. So over here we have sashimi. Then over here we have more donburi and and also more donburi. Uh, more donburi. This is the seafood bowl. So yeah, basically donburi. Bowl rice top this yeah basically it's a lot of dumburi and sushi. Sea etchings and salmon roll. That looks good. And then we have the seafood set, you can have many other things like you can have them mixed up like fish or prawn. It's pretty cool. Our food is here. So as you can see we have seaweed soup. All three of us have seaweed soup. Then we have a sushi plate with eight pieces of sushi on it. We have the egg. Then we have fish roll sushi, we have tamago, we have more fish, we have prawn. Then we have sashimi, more sashimi, and four, piece ty four types of sashimi, nice. So here on this side we have the outdoor burrito bowl. It has salmon, uh, sea urchin, fish, eggs, and rice. Very nice. If you ever want to come to Hakodate Sushi, um, this is what the front of the store looks like. You can come in uh, and eat some of the good stuff that we had. This is breakfast. Okay, so right now we're in the Hakodate Body Market Square. Uh, just now is the wet market. This is the dry market. As you can see, it sells a lot of vegetables. So there are many types of fruits you can buy, like tomatoes and fruits and vegetables, of course. So that's very nice. That's a lot of seaweed. This show here sells roasted scallop and seafood, like for instance, prawns and lobsters. Yum. One thing I've not seen in this market is blue lobster, and I found it. Oh, so heavy. I've fallen. And I can't get up! Okay guys, so this is a JR railway station. So here you can ride on the Shinkansen or you can also say bullet train.
Okay guys, so this here is the Hakodate Tropical Botanical Garden. Yes, a four-letter name. Very long. But well, let's go explore it, shall we? Okay, okay guys, so this is the first attraction. This is the monkey exhibit. So it's pretty cool. You can see all the little monkeys here. Just playing and swinging around, doing their things. That's pretty cool. The best part about this place is that there are hot springs here for the monkeys. Look, look at this fresh spring water. Then here you can see a thousand monkeys in it. It's winter, so it's pretty cold. So the monkeys just come, can just jump in and have a nice little bath. So this is the main star of attraction. This is the greenhouse. In other words, the botanical gardens. So this here is the, is the hibiscus or bunga raya. It is also the national flower of my country, Malaysia. Guys, look, piranhas. For more proof, as you can see here, it really says Piranha. Thanks for the Google Translate app, I guess. It's pretty cool. Yeah! Wow, look at that amphibious frog. It looks so weird! Wow, what? Guys, look at this bird cage. Here you can see many types of birds. Or I can just say three types only la. Wait, look over there, you can see the few birds. Not only that, we could spend hours looking at these little tiny little fishies. Hmm, yeah. The corner is where all the cool fishes hang out. Guys, look. Turtles! Yay! So as you can see, here's a staircase leading up to there. Let's go check it out. Wow, what tire tree is that? Someone had a birthday party and they like they pinned up some of the pictures here. That is the most beautiful picture ever. Okay, guys, as you can see, we're outside, and yeah, that's pretty nice. Not only that, you guys, but you can also see the top of Mount Hakodate from here. Wow! Okay, guys, with our infinite supply of snow, we made a snowman. Look. Look at his head and his hat, and then over here we got arms, and then we have his big fat body. Yay! Okay guys, so um, we've put it up here on this fence for all to see. I wonder how long he's gonna last here. I mean his arms just came off while shifting him here. Do you wanna build a snowman? Come on, let's go and play. I never see you anymore. Come out the door. It's like you've gone away.
It's a very busy day in Monkey Land. <laughs> Okay guys, we're in front of the botanical gardens and oh here we have a foot bath. Look at that. It's a foot bath. Is it nice and hot in there, Daddy? Good rain. Yeah. So that's the Goriyakaku uh, Tower. So this needs like a nice observation tower. And you can see the entire park of Lucky. It's pretty cool, but we won't be going up here to the tower. So yeah. Okay guys, so this is Goriyakaku Park. It's apparently a fort and yeah, there's a star-shaped moat around it, so that's pretty cool. But as you can see, it's quite rainy and it's frozen, so we can't really see much of it. So um, yeah, we're gonna go. Welcome to Goriakaku Tower. Whoa! It is also star-shaped. It's another Lucky Period! Yay! It has ice cream teeth or something. Okay guys, so this here is the Tachimachi Lookout Point. It is kind of closed during winter, so... Yeah, we can still enjoy like the Cape La. See the ocean down there. Okay guys, so this is the public hall. It's very nice and golden. It's a western sort of style because uh, Hakodate was once um, run by westerners. Wow, that's a nice snowman. Okay guys, so this here is a Russian Orthodox Church. Very cool, huh? It has a very nice design. As you can see, the roof is very archy shaped. And yeah, I can even see the cross. And yeah. Okay, guys. So um, we are in Motomoma, Motomachi, which is a uh, quite an old sort of uh, street, or as you can see, the street here in Hakodate. And uh, you can see it's a very tiny old house. It's very, very old. Look at it. Like it's peeling off or something. So this building here, um, I showed it to you just now, but the name is actually called. The Episcopal Church of Japan Hakodate Episcopal Church. And apparently, if you look from it from above, the roof is actually cross shaped. Pretty cool. So, this here is a Roman Catholic Church. It was burned down three times and rebuilt, you know, a few more times. Uh, because, like, it was once made out of wood and now they build it out of stone so it would never burn down again. However, there are many wood carvings inside here. So, the inside could, you know, still burn. 
So this here is the birthplace of Katsui Shiro Kame. He was uh, born in Motomachi on February 6, 1907. He graduated from Tokyo Imperial um, University. Later he played an active role as a literacy critic and thinker. He had he had many great works like the human education, essays on things and seasons, and old temples in Yamato. So yeah. Um, yeah, his greatest work is the historical researches on the Japanese spirits is regarded as the combination. Um, so that's pretty cool. He died of an illness in uh, 1966, so that sucked. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay guys, so this here is the Russian Orthodox Church. I kind of mixed it up just now. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so this is it, the Russian Orthodox Church. It's kind of funny, like, how in this area there are many churches. Because uh, Christianity is not predominant in Japan, so yeah. Wait, wait, let's slide. Hold on. <laughs> it's very, this entire road is so icy. <laughs> That's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Okay guys, this is the, f it, this spot over here, this viewpoint, is actually quite famous because um, Motomachi. yeah, Motomachi Street, this slope here is actually very famous because you can see from up, from up here, the hill, all the way down to the pier over there, you can, yeah, yeah, you can see the docks down there too, you can see a huge ship over there, so it's pretty cool, so yeah, I feel I should make this my new wallpaper on my phone. Okay, so right now we're in front of um, Hokkaido Premium Ice Cream. <laughs> Yay! This is the home of the second most delicious ice cream melon bread in the world. Show it, mommy. Show it. Oh, does that ice cream in a bun? It's Roti Boy with ice cream. No one knows what Roti Boy is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That looks good. Let's eat it. Let's eat it. Mm. Oh. Mm. So cold and so sweet. Mm. Mm. Oh, no, not for you. Okay. Okay, guys. So here is the old public hall of the Hakodate Ward. In August 1907, a big fire burned down over 12,000 houses, almost half of a Hakodate Ward, which is this. The public meeting hall, where citizens had gathered together, was lost. Um, some guy named Mr. Tepe Soma, who was a wealthy merchant, contributed 50,000 yen, which was a great amount of money at that time, to rebuild it. And yeah, thanks to him, it's now rebuilt. So that's pretty cool. Okay guys, so this here is Motomachi Park. It's freaking beautiful, man. guys so um, this is the British consulate so when the British arrived in Japan the Japanese gave them a plot of land to build their consulate and this is where it is 
It's very nice. Wow. Oh no, there's a Christmas tree. That's nice. Hmm. So this is the back of the courtyard. I mean back of the British consulate. It's very nice. That guy's just throwing snow off the roof. So as you can see back here we can see the souvenir shop. Thump. So that's the back of the British consulate. So many chimneys here. Look, one, two, three. Well. Wow. So this is the side of a British consulate. And this is also where the rose garden was. Was. Because back here there's usually a lot of roses, but um yeah they're gone because winter. Hi daddy. You should welcome to Hakodate. You should be here. He yeah, look at all those dead flowers. Alright, you guys, so this is the cherry blossom trees. You can see the cherries on it. Hmm, nice, right? My mom over here has, a, has one in her hand right now. You, nice, right? Yeah. yeah. Eat it, what? Yeah, Alright, guys, so this is uh, the house of uh, Tepe Soma. Tepe Soma was the guy who donated the 30,000 yen for so the public hall could be rebuilt. My god, was he rich? This is a huge house! Like, there's some more down there. But I can't go in because of a barrier. That's the gate to his house. Mm. Oh yeah, right, it's like greenish over there. Yeah. Wow, look at those sakura trees. They mix well with this nice Japanese house. That so nice and red. Okay, guys, so this is the view from our car park. Wow, this is actually very nice. You can see what like, the towns over there, very nice. Very so, um, yeah, this is the birthplace of that uh Japanese writer. It's very big, it's like a shogunate sort of palace. So, this is the red brick warehouses area. So around this area, there's many brick warehouses just like this. But um, yeah, so we're going to visit each and every one. Look at this tree! So this area here is the Kanemori Red Brick Warehouse area. So basically this entire street is lined with red brick warehouses just like this one. Each of them has many things that they sell like for instance some have a restaurant some of them is a shop and one of them is a hall this shop this red brick warehouse here sells souvenirs such as like these little glass sculptures so cute this shop here sells many things like necklaces to earrings little glass figurines to little snow globes like these <laughs> This warehouse has an assortment of bakeries and clothing shops. Oh my guys, so this here is a post office. Look how the many stamps you can buy. So many. So colorful. Okay guys, today for lunch we're having Lucky Periods. This Lucky seems to be a very normal one. That's not a crazy theme. There's just a few uh, Christmas decorations here and there, and yeah, that's pretty much it. If you also see this back area here, we can see a nice view of the port. This is also the place where you can order your food. Oh my gosh, our food has arrived! So here is um, an egg... Chicken. Omelette rice. Yeah, omelette rice with a chicken. Delicious. And over here we have um, curry chicken rice. And over here we have two burgers. Let's see what type of burgers they are. Okay guys, so this here is the Lucky Pork Burger. Like, it's for my daddy. Yum! Mm. Okay guys, this is Pork Cutlet Burger. The difference between this now one was that that one was minced up and made into a patty. This one is actually a normal cutlet. So let's sprinkle, let's eat it. 
too late. The, the inside is also pretty cool. It's basically um, the curry rice and segments in the burger. Especially there's some gravy in the middle. Yum, 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 yum. I don't know if you guys noticed, but over here there's a Christmas tree. And yesterday night, it lit up. Um, it was quite colorful. Um, like uh, we saw it from the from the top of uh, Mount Hakodate. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is the fairy church. Basically, um, it's one of the many displays you can see along this um, red this uh, street. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So basically, they just plonked it here for Christmas, and then inside there's a bell and a Christmas tree. The bell makes sounds, obviously. Yeah, you can go in and do stuff. Fine. Alright, yeah, there's the bell up here. And here's a roll. And I can pull. Nice sound. Yeah, I know, right? It smells good too. Yeah. You, can, you can even donate some coins there if you want. It's cool. Okay, guys, so now we're inside Bay Hakodate, which is one of the many brick warehouses here. So, yeah, this one sells a lot. Like cookies. <laughs> And souvenirs. So this convenient, I mean this um, souvenir store sells stuff like cut, like these samurai swords and katanas, and even these ku knives, and a ton of wooden weapons and stuff. Kind of mori red brick warehouse. You should be here. Do it, daddy. This thing. Yay! You finally got it. This. This shop is selling music boxes. Yep, music boxes. Guys, this is the first music box manufactured in the United States. This is called the Regina. Uh, so, look, it's a incredibly big disc, and yeah, you basically can play it. That's cool. This thing would move based on the holes, right? Yeah. This thing would spin, right? Yeah, so and. Spin, the thing would move. And then make sound. Yay. This is also this store where they um, where you can um, ask for specifications on a certain bike and then they'll make it for you. you see she's working on the pattern right there. Alright guys, so this here is Snaffles, a very popular biscuit bakery thing here. Um, they're very popular for their um, you know goodies. Very nice stuff. Hey guys, I think the Christmas tree is gonna light up sooner or later. You can hear music. That's pretty cool. Guys, look, the Blue Moon Cruise is here. You can sit on it and then you can go for a nice sunset um, cruise. Guys, look, the trees is uh, going to light up soon. It's lighting up. Look at it. Oh no! This must be a 
very heavy tree. So this here is a yokocho. Basically what a yokocho is, it's basically like a food court sort of area. Basically there are many restaurant restaurants around here and I can just pick one restaurant go in and then you can eat. So that's pretty cool. So this yokocho has a name. This one is called the Diamond Yokocho. So basically you can just um let's just so me and my family are gonna pick one and we're gonna eat there. This yokocho has many types of food, like this one sells sushi, this one sells crab, and this one sells seafood. So yeah, this entire food street is uh, filled with food and restaurants. First we go, that's the yokocho. Oh okay, guys, so I'm inside this little ramen store, because we want to try out some ramen. It's very tiny, look I'm in a corner store already. Like, so this is where he sits and this is where he cooks and serves the stuff. Oh, there you answered. Okay, guys, so this is the ramen that we ordered. Uh, we have no idea what his names are, but they look delicious. Okay, guys, so we're done with our ramen. It was delicious. Let's get back to the hotel. Alright, guys, it's 6 o'clock. Which means it should have fireworks um, in the tower. So look at this thing. Oh, you can hear it, but I can't see it. Oh, there it is! Oh, that's a loud one. Yeah, well, it's blocked by this building here. Ooh, it's a nice sound. Oh, it's purple. Ooh. Every day, huh? Yeah, I don't know where they get their fireworks from. Now. Oh, is that all? Aww. Oh. Aww. Just as soon as we find a nice spot, it ended. Well, that was all I can show you guys. Sorry. Okay, okay guys. Um, someone's left, and we went back to the hotel. 
we picked up some breakfast for tomorrow from the Lawson shop and afterwards we came here, this takoyaki stand if you're wondering what takoyaki is, it's basically this octopus ball it's basically um, basically something like that they're basically like made in these like little balls and then they'll just fill up with butter and of course octopus uh, meat so um, yeah, then you can eat it like that it's delicious. my god, that was quick Alrighty guys, so this here is the takoyaki ball. Yay yay yay. As you can see I put some toothpicks in it so we can eat it. So this is our supper, eh? Um octopus in some flour in some in some uh in some in a ball. So let's try this out. What drink is this? Look at all this stuff. We have flavored apple. We have flavored water. Yes, yeah, Coca-Cola brand. And you have a cup is soda version. Don't have that. This one is cup is strawberry. And this is a salty lychee, lychee actually. And here we have our takoyaki, let's eat that. Let's try this out. Hmm. Mm, that's good. Well, I'll just enjoy this takoyaki balls, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. <laughs> Bye.